So, we get to have graduation. That's pretty cool, right? I need you guys to take the next few minutes, pause the Spotify, turn off the Animal Crossing, and listen to the instructions that I have so that we can make this as smooth as possible. So I need the graduates to be at the large practice field directly behind the home stands at 6 p.m. for staging. Now if there's unfavorable weather, you folks just need to go to the gym and we'll do the staging there. When you get to the staging area, I will have two teachers assigned for every row based off the alphabet. Once you find your alphabetical row, it'll be as easy as follow the leader and I know you guys can do that. Decorations on the caps are not going to be permitted. Traditionally, Farragut High School has never had decorations on caps, and that is one tradition we're going to keep during this non-traditional time. Ladies, for your shoes, you need to make sure that you only wear flat-soled shoes. I don't want you guys to get your heels stuck in the turf, break your shoes, hurt yourself, or embarrass yourself in front of 1900 people. Embrace the flip-flops. If you haven't picked up your tickets, or if you still have cords or stoles to pick up, we will have a will call table. That is a table set up right at the gates for you to check in with a, any kind of photo ID to pick up any items that you're still missing. For the general audience, gates are going to open at 6 o'clock. If the weather is unfavorable, we're going to ask that you stay in your vehicles. Seating is not assigned, but Knox County Schools, Knox County Health Department, and Farragut High School are strongly recommending the use of face masks, six-foot social distancing, and if you're experiencing any symptoms of COVID-19, we ask that you stay at home. We will have marked off seating for immune compromised guests on the lower left side of the stadium just as you enter. The only persons allowed on the field will be graduates and faculty and security. We will have limited concessions including bottled water available until 7 p.m. If you're not able to make it to the ceremony, the ceremony will be live streamed at www.noxgrads.com. Dot com. Additionally, Bog McCathern Photographers will provide photography at www.mccathernphotos.com. Now let's talk about the graduation ceremony itself. There will be 16 rows of students, and two rows of students will enter the stadium at the same time. To start, it will be rows 1 and 7. They will enter the stadium, walk down to the field, and go to their assigned rows. Following that will be rows 2 and 8. Following that will be rows 3 and 9, and so on and so forth until we've filled up the entire stadium. At that point, we get to have our ceremony. It's peanut butter jelly time! Peanut butter jelly time! Peanut butter once the ceremony is over, we will recess out of the stadium one row at a time, beginning with row one. This is going to be very important because in the visitor's section where we'll be exiting, that will be where you will get your diplomas. You will go to your table based off the alphabet to pick up your diplomas. Last thing, once you receive your diploma, we ask that you do not congregate and leave campus as safely and as swiftly as possible. Thank you.